In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys five easy tips on how to prevent post-workout muscle soreness and improve your recovery time. Post-workout muscle soreness has a lot of contributing factors, such as lactic acid buildup and inflammation caused by muscle tears during weight training. And your sore muscles can have a negative effect on your psychological as well as physiological health that can often last for days. And this can really affect your sleeping pattern, your mood, your recovery time, and you are less likely to go back and work out again as you had planned to. And if you do talk yourself into going back to workout, you're going to have a less than mediocre workout because you are still sore from the previous workout. Now here are the tools that I use to combat my post-workout muscle soreness, but please speak with your healthcare professional to make sure they're suitable for you before you use them. Number one on my list is pineapple. So pineapple has an enzyme called bromelain, which is extremely effective in reducing inflammation and pain. I consume pineapple every single day as part of my post-workout shake. What I generally do is I'll take half a cup of frozen pineapple and I throw it along with everything else in the blender, give it a good blend and I drink it. By adding it to my shake and drinking it right after my workout, I'm gonna experience that intense anti-inflammatory effect from the bromelain that is in the pineapple and therefore I'm gonna be less sore in the coming days. Now the second item on my list is turmeric. Turmeric has a lot of health benefits. It contains something called curcumin, which is an excellent anti-inflammatory compound. I always add one teaspoon of turmeric to my post-workout shakes so I can get that anti-inflammatory benefits of curcumin. The kind that I use is a puree. It's pure turmeric, comes in a puree form, and this is what it looks like. You guys can also get in a powder form, but I find the paste seems to be a better option for me. And next on the list is glutamine or L-glutamine. Glutamine is a non-essential amino acid. It does an excellent job in removing a lot of the toxins from your body, particularly lactic acid, which can build up in your muscles post-workout and cause a lot of soreness. So just like everything else I've talked about so far, I add one scoop of glutamine to my post-workout shakes. It gives me about 4.5 to 5 grams of pure L-glutamine. I personally prefer a powder form. You can certainly get them in a capsule form. It all depends on your personal preference. You cannot go wrong with either. And the next item on the list is something you don't have to go and buy at a store. You can do it at home, and that is cold hot therapy. Now you must have seen some athletes sitting in a ice cold tub of water after finishing their triathlon or marathon to promote recovery and to prevent muscle soreness, and here is how it works. The ice cold water reduces the inflammation, which is extremely important for your recovery and to prevent muscle soreness, followed by warm or hot water, which will bring lots of nutrients to promote the healing process, and it also takes away all the toxins that your body's produced during your workout. And the way that I do it at home is very simple. I start my post-workout shower with cool water, and then I gradually lower the temperature to what my body can tolerate, and I leave it on on the parts that I've trained that day. And after a few minutes, I switch over to warm or hot water and do the exact same thing. And the last item on the list is something that we're always deprived of, and that is sleep. We all know the importance of getting plenty of sleep each day, so I'm not going to talk too much about this topic. Just make sure that you go to bed at a decent time each night, so you wake up at a decent time each morning to promote recovery and muscle growth. All right, guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something from it. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.